it's got a little Hebrew feel, and so we're going to do a little Hebrew dance, okay? Well, it may not be, but I kind of made it up thinking like a Hebrew, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to step, kick, step, kick, stomp, stomp, clap, and then turn around. Got it? Okay. So it goes like this. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Got it? Okay, so if you have family members nearby, what you can do is you can link your pinkies with your family members, okay? And then you're going to step kick together, step kick together. Then when you stomp, then you let go to clap, right? And turn around. Let's try it all together. Here we go. Shake it out so you don't pull anything. All right. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. The next part goes like this. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Try that. Jesus, Prince of Peace. Here we go. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, hallelujah. Hey, some people are here at church and they're laughing at me. Because I'm dancing and singing. So I hope you had fun with that. Now we're going to take a nice deep breath. Blow it all the way out. Let's take a silly breath. We've got to. Here we go. <laughs> all right. And now it's time for our serious breath. So we're going to get seated and find a place where you can sit without being distracted. You can cross your legs. Sit crisscross applesauce. Do you do that? And then we're going to put our hands on our knees or fold them. Okay? Here's our serious, serious breath. All the way out. I think I'm ready to tell the story, and I hope you are too. Because this story happened when Jesus was going to Jerusalem. And you know, all Lent long, we have been talking about how Jesus went to Jerusalem. And so he went to Jerusalem with his 12 disciples, let's count them, one, hopefully they won't fall down on me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, see, 10, oh, sometimes they fall over, 10, 11, and 12. Now, if you want to tell the story at home, maybe you have some little people or little plastic animals that you could use or something, but you need 12 of them and Jesus, okay? So they are on their way to Jerusalem. And the disciples said, we don't want to go there. They're going to kill you, Jesus. And Jesus said, we have to go. And so he turned his back on them and he headed towards Jerusalem. And they followed
they got to Jerusalem, they went into an upper room. And there in that room was a table that had been prepared for the Passover celebration. And so Jesus and his disciples gathered around the table to prepare for the Passover. That one just wants to fall over. This is kind of like when we gather at home for a special meal. We all gather, maybe your aunts and uncles come together and your cousins. You might not be able to do that this Easter, but you can certainly have a big celebration for Easter. Hmm? And they were all, oh no. And they were all gathered around. And then Jesus took the bread and he said, this is my body. And he broke it. And he said, it is broken for you. Take and eat. And then he gave it to his disciples. And then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it for them to drink. And he said, drink of this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And then after dinner, they sang a hymn, and they went out to a garden to pray. And after that, something very sad happened. Jesus was arrested, and he was taken to be crucified. But Jesus didn't stay dead. On Easter, he rose from the dead, so that whenever we eat this bread or we drink this cup, we can remember how he saves us from our sins. I wonder if you have ever been afraid to go somewhere. I wonder if you have ever been around a table like this. I wonder if you have ever eaten this bread or drunk from this cup. I wonder if you can remember the words Jesus said when he shared the bread and the cup with his disciples. What do you wonder about today? Your parents should have a video of uh, some wondering opportunities for you that Miss Kaylin put together. So I hope that you will take some time and maybe do some art projects or other things like that. And um, be sure and take some time to wonder. Someone suggested that if you're wondering about something, you could actually type it in your comments on Facebook Live or have your mom or dad do that for you. And that way we all can hear each other's wondering. I think that's a great idea. So what I forgot to do when we first started is to change our church year calendar. It is actually 
the fifth Sunday of Lent, or the sixth Sunday of Lent, Palm Sunday. So Mr. Don's going to help me change that. And that means that next Sunday is Christmas. No. No, no. Next Sunday is Easter. I always get those two confused, don't you? <laughs> so next Sunday, after worship, during drive through communion, I think a special visitor is going to be here, and there's going to be a special treat for all of you. So if you're not able to come, maybe your mom or dad can come by and pick something up that's been especially prepared for you. You stay healthy, you stay safe, wash your hands a lot, okay? And be sure to look up our Bible story, which is in your Bible. It's in the Children's Story Bible on page 462. 462, it's called The Last Supper, okay? If you have the student Bible, you are going to find this story in Matthew chapter 26, beginning with the 17th verse. Matthew 26, verse 17, all the way through verse uh, 36, okay? So that is on page 1093 in the student Bible. And junior high, high school, if you have a study Bible, I think you can look up Matthew 26 and find the story of the Last Supper. Let's pray together. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Holy God, it's been kind of rough being away from our school friends, but you already know that. It's been really rough for me as a pastor to be away from all my church friends, all the kids of this church. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless them and keep them safe. And I pray that you would let this virus go far, far away and help us to be healed from it so that we can come together again and have fun and learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye-bye.